Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here with an unboxing of the Diamond Tears Edge by Monster. Kind of a wacky name. I get the diamond part, but the tears, I don't know, doesn't make me think of headphones. Diamond Tears Edge headphones. It doesn't even roll off your tongue real easily. Anyways, if you are not a Monster fan, if you are not a Beats fan specifically, don't discount these headphones. These are a great set of headphones. Um, I'll leave them for a little more for review, but Please don't just say, oh, I hate them because they're Monster branded. If you read anything about these online, you'll see that it's they're a game changer for Monster. You can just take a look at this packaging and see that they've taken a lot of time and effort to make these presented nice. And I don't believe that you will be disappointed in the sound quality as well. But enough with that. Look at how these things shine in the light. These things are definitely going to be a standout pair of headphones. They just scream, look at me. They're pretty, they're colorful. Um, some people say they're not manly, these are not for a guy. That depends on you and how you feel as a man, I guess. But I could definitely see some guys wearing these. Um, possibly the darker pair, but me as a female, as uh, I just like the looks of these ones so much better. The darker ones are almost, uh, they're a black with almost a bluish tint, and I really like the color of these ones. But that's just my opinion. The blue ones stood out to me at the Best Buy store. I came home, looked them up, and seen that they had the white ones available. Anyways, once we get inside here, you have your three cables. One of them is an Apple cable. The other one they list on the package is a Samsung series cable, but I believe it'll work with your Android devices. And you have also, as well, just a universal cable. The Apple one has push to talk and controls for all your phone calls and your mic in. Uh, also, if you look down here, it has diamonds on the, put, the, the button, the control talk button. Here we have the spray, shine spray. You spray these on your headphones, and also it has the, a cleaning cloth that you'll see here in just a moment, and you use these to clean off the fingerprints. Um, the white ones do show fingerprints, but they're not terribly bad. The darker colored ones definitely show fingerprints a lot worse. So if you're worried about that kind of stuff, I would definitely suggest going with a lighter pair. But either way, they've included this uh, cleaning cloth, and it's really nice, actually, uh, microfiber, and it, microfiber, and it even says antimicrobial, or I forgot what they used terminology online when I was reading about it, but you can definitely keep your headphones nice and clean and shiny with those. Okay, and down here you see you have the two different inputs. You can actually daisy chain with these headphones or share your audio with another pair of headphones. Um, that's a really nice feature that they've included. Most headphones don't do that. So if you're two of you are sitting in the same car in the back seat, you can share them. The headphones on these are super comfortable. Up at the top, they're very, very nice soft rubber padding, and your ear cups are extremely soft and comfortable. These are not uncomfortable headphones at all. They seem to be really durably, durably built, and everything about these, they've really taken a lot of time and effort to make them look good, and I believe they will also last quite a while. They definitely have the right amount of give uh, to suction nice to your ears, but yet they're not going to squeeze your head in half. And here I'm going to show you how, if you want to do what I referred to earlier as daisy chain or share your audio, you plug your headphones into your one side into your device. And I don't believe it matters. I tried this earlier. Um, and you can flip flop it around uh, which headphones goes into which. But you put one, device, one from your device into your headphones and then the other pair of headphones you plug directly into your friends or whoever's going to be listening to its headphones and then they can listen to the music as well. And guys, if you hang on to this, there's a little Velcro strap that these came with that'll help you keep your headphones or keep your extra cables um, all nice and tidy. And after panicking, thinking that I didn't get a headphone carrying case, I discovered there was a pull tab up here. <laughs> and in fact, they did not forget my carrying case. Here's also some paperwork. It just goes over your very basic stuff and has it in a million different languages. And it's a very teeny tiny print. Actually, I really like this headphone bag. I didn't really think that it was. It's a little lint attractor, but it's actually pretty convenient. Um, it's not a hard case. It's a soft case, as you can see here. Um, they actually have little little uh, mesh pockets here to where you can keep your headphone cables in there and keep them separate so when you pull them out, they don't automatically just fall out as well. 
I'm sorry, I did forget to mention that these are foldable DJ style headphones and that makes it very convenient for traveling. Anyways, guys, um, I have a new Facebook page over at facebook.com slash youtube.amanda. If you can go over and show me some love and like my page and please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. Thank you guys for everything you do.